Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cracked Fox, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build the Japanese National Railway's D52 steam locomotive. So, this is uh, running on narrow gauge tracks, so it's like four blocks wide, and this is what it looks like. Uh, a couple people wanted me to build a Japanese steam locomotive, so yeah, I just finished this up today, and yeah, let's get started. So, the first thing I want to do, make sure you have four block wide track, and let's add the leading wheel. So, that's just like uh, two gray concrete blocks, like this. Behind it, let's make a 2x4 of nether brick slabs like this. It's going to be the bottom of the cylinder. And behind that, we want uh, four pairs of these driving wheels. So it's like um, these Oreo cookie shaped wheels. So it's like a 2x2. Two two. And just make uh, four pairs of these. And they're uh, pretty much right next to each other. So. Yeah, there's like no space in between. And this front part. Then we need two more wheels, so let's add that. So I'm going to try to make them at the same time. And then the bottom. Alright, so once we have our wheels, um, let's add this back wheel here. So I guess it's the trailing wheel and then there's gap of two. So skip two blocks. Add gray concrete again. And then let's add another brick slab. A two by two in the back of this. And a two by two in front of that. And let's take a stone button, add the sides of the wheels like this in the front as well. And let's add um, black wool. Let's add a two by two right on top of the cylinders, like this. And the front, let's add a two by two as well, like this. And the middle of this, you know what? We might as well connect it together. So fill in this middle part in. And let's have a stone. I made another brick slab sticking out on one side. So this is going to be our false middle. Since it is an even number, we're just going to pick this side to be the middle. So then let's add another brick slab to the sides of this. And black wool, two blocks, both sides. And the middle is another brick slabs. And behind that, it's um, back to back, I think. Yeah, back to back, um, another brick stairs like this. On top, two black wool blocks. And then on top of that, uh, two back to back nether brick stairs, like so. And on top of that is two nether brick slabs. Alright, so now um, let's add dark oak wood um, trap doors. Add two of them under here. And one of the sides in front of the cylinder. I wonder if I did it right. Yeah, I did. Right above this button. And there's going to be upside down nether brick stairs right here. That little nook. And let's add nether brick stairs facing the front right here. Behind that, let's add a 2x2 two two black wool. And let's add some front detail. So there's going to be a lantern up there, which is skeleton skull. Behind it, I mean underneath it, is a sign for your number plate. And you'll know if it's a D52 if it says D52 on it. And actually we're making, yeah we are making the D52. But there is like a D51 and then the C62. They're all different. They kind of look like the same thing. Anyways, we're going to take a wooden button at the side of this. Like so. And let's add in the rods right here. So we're going to take um, iron trap door, add one like that. And it's going to be five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. And right above the last one, we're going to add three, like so. Same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five. And then above the last one, we're going to add three. Then we're going to take uh, stone slabs, add a two by two. Or rather a two by one 
Sorry about that. And then two of them trailing it. So it looks like that. Now, um, I need to take an inspection. So let's take um, another brick stairs. So let's continue this pattern down here all the way to where the, the back driving wheel is. So the last of the driving wheels, we're gonna make it go all the way there. So just connect it together, and then we're gonna do a layer on top. So for this top layer, we're gonna make the stairs uh, 14 blocks long. So this is already one, and then there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now let's repeat the same thing on the other side. And we're going to add a uh, black wool underneath it. Let's take our black wool, just connect it together, adding the boiler. And it goes all the way to the back. So let's do that. And right underneath this part, there is uh, three blocks, so let's add that. So make it two by three. Bam. All right, so we're gonna add a little smokestack right behind this nether brick slab on one side. And behind that, we're gonna skip a block, add an oak wood trap door. Behind that is four uh, nether brick slabs, so one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna skip a block, add a uh, open birch fence gate. We're gonna skip a block actually, and then open it towards the center. Skip a block, add another brick slab. All right. And right at the back, we're gonna add um, black wool going all the way down and all the way up. And it's going to go one block above the boiler, like this. And it's four blocks long, so make it two by four. Add, um, actually we're going to replace the one in the back with another brick slab, like this. Add another brick slabs on the sides. And a black wool block above this another brick slab. Alright, so now let's add, um, you know, we might as well add uh, this thing right here. So there's uh, another brick slab right here, both sides. Right behind the cylinder and then two iron trap doors. Then two nether brick uh, stairs upside down. Now let me check if it's the same thing on the other side. Yes, it is. So do the same thing. And then it goes up, and there's two nether brick slabs. Then it goes down, and then it goes all the way to the cab, and that's like four blocks. So one, two, three, four. One, where am I doing this right? One, two, three, four. And then we're going to add a black carpet right above uh, where the things are. So just connect it together, make it all black on top. Same thing over here. Covering up the nether brick and the iron trap doors. And let's work on the cab a bit. So we're going to make like this U shape on both sides. It's like a two by three, you just like punch in a hole in the middle where we're going to place this uh, light gray glass uh, block like so alright and then we're going to add a sign right underneath the window and then um, let's make this banner so to make the banner we're going to take a gray banner add an ink sack border around it then we're going to take that banner and add ink sac on the bottom two thirds of it. And that's pretty much how you get the banner. So we're just gonna place that in the front of the cab for the windows and the back of the cab as well, like so. All right, and then in the middle, let's add 
uh, black wool. So there is actually it's gonna fill in the entire bottom of this. So go right over here, add a two by two, and then in front of that, let's add another brick stairs upside down, facing the front. It's gonna be the firebox, and right behind it is gonna be another brick. I mean, not another brick, black wool block. Let's add. Let's add it till it reaches the end of this cab. So it's like a two by two by two. And then the middle, we're gonna have another brick. Uh, slaps two of them like this. It dips down a bit. And let me see if there's anything behind this thing. All right, there is. So there's another brick. I mean, black wool underneath it. And let's add another brick stairs on the sides. Another brick slab underneath. So that's gonna be the ladder. And the sides of that is nether brick slabs, three of them, right underneath the cab. It's looking good, and right here, let's add nether brick fence underneath this area. The other side is nether brick stairs, like that. All right, so once we do that, let's add in. I guess we're gonna work on the tender now, so. Let's take upside down another big stairs, go right here and add uh, 13 to that. So it's 13 extra. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. In the middle, let's fill that in with black wool. Then we're going to fill in the other side with stairs. Take our stairs, add it to the sides of that, and add a black wool border around. So it's like two, two blocks tall, like so, going all the way around. And we're gonna leave like that gap alone so you can get to the cab. And the back, let's add a coupling, um, that's another brick um, slab on this side, and another brick slab underneath this area. Just for some steps, and add um, dark oak wood um, trap doors, two of them right there. And let's work on the bogey. So there is one of them right over here. So. It's right after the stairs, so let's take uh, two <laughs> gray concrete blocks, and then we're gonna have two back-to-back -back nether brick stairs, like that. The same thing on the other side. All right, and then add stone buttons to the sides of the wheels. And then we're going to skip a block and add another brick slab to the outer part. So it should look like that. And then skip two blocks and add the same design of wheels. So skip two and add our wheels right here. Once again, come on. This thing's in the way. Alright, and then we're going to add stone buttons to the sides of the wheels. So it's all good. Alright, the back we're going to add um, two acacia wooden buttons like that. Sign on this side for a number plate again. And above that is our lantern, which we're going to use another brick slab to represent it. Alright. So now let's add in this random wheel. I don't know what's it for, but it's there. Just a oak wood trap door, place it on that side. All right, so now let's build this thing. So we're gonna take another brick slab, go uh, right above to this um, stairs right here of the back. So add it to the sides. 
another brick slab all the way to the front and wrap it around and add a line right here now in this back area we're going to fill that in with um, black wool and this part is where the coal is stored so we're going to have a uh, coal block in the inside part and then coal raised up a block in between so it should look like that and if you want you can just distribute the coal whatever you want or you, you can even make it empty alright so that's how you build the Japanese National Railway a D52 in Minecraft I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do remember to smash that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future and I will see you guys next time bye